Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Mission and Tech Help Show, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to capture an image off of your desktop screen. Basically, any Windows program, software application, internet page, whatever you might have open, I'm going to show you how to capture that image and paste it into an editor so you can resize it and do whatever you want with it. Now, of course, I have to say some legalese here. It is illegal to take other people's images without their permission. So if it's like a photography studio or anything, you want to make sure that you're not violating their copyrights. So now that the legalese is out of the way, first thing we want to do is check your resolution size on your screen. Now to do that, go ahead and go to your desktop, and on Windows 7, you're going to right-click, and you're going to select Screen Resolution. Now if you don't have Windows 7, then you're going to actually want to right-click on your desktop, and you're going to select Properties, and then you're going to go to the Display tab to find out exactly what resolution you have. Now, in my case, it's 1600 by 900, okay? That's an important number to remember, so I'm going to leave that open. And then next, what we want to do is we're just going to go to a website. Let's say you're at one of the greatest websites ever designed on the Internet ever. Not mine. And then you're going to capture an image on the screen. Let's say I want to get just this image, okay? And I can't right-click. For some reason, they disabled it, okay? You're going to select Print Screen on your keyboard. Many of you have it on your keyboard. If you have a laptop, you might have to hold a function key when you do this, and then you select the Print Screen button. Once upon a time, the Print Screen button actually printed to a computer. Now it actually copies your entire desktop to your, it's called a clipboard, which stores all of your copied and pasted images. Next, let's go to Free Downloads at my website. It's up here at the top middle. And we're going to scroll down to a little image editor, probably one of the best ones you can find, called the GIMP. And that's the GNU Image Manipulation Program. Now download and install that program. And after you've installed it, we're going to actually use it to paste our image. Okay, are you done already? <laughs> I've already installed mine. So I'm going to go to the Start menu here, and I'm going to open it, which I actually already have it open. And then once GNU Image Manipulation Program is open, we're going to select File and new. And now the width is 1600 and the height is 1900. That's what I specified it as. Remember, I have this these two numbers match my screen resolution size because when I capped when I did a print screen of my screen, I need to make sure that my image size will allow me to paste the entire screen in it. So after I've selected my width and height, I'm going to select okay. And now that I have a blank template here for my screen, then I'm going to select Edit at the top, and I'm going to select Paste. As you can see, I have pasted my entire screen that I captured right here in the GNU Image Manipulation Program. Now, in order to crop a section of this image, because I only want just this logo, for example, I'm going to go up here to the left-hand side to the Crop tool. And I'm going to select that, and I'm going to drag my mouse, click and drag, over the section of the logo that I want. I can even adjust it from left to right at this point. I can adjust the corners if I'd like. And I can adjust the left and right on the left side as well. And once I've got what I'd say is a good section of what I'm looking for, I can press Enter. And that has officially cropped the image for me. Now, we're not quite done yet. What we want to do now is see the actual size of the image. Right now it's actually zoomed out. So if I click View and I click Zoom, I can actually zoom into 100% so I can see the image in its full size. So as you can see, this is the actual size of the image on my screen that I captured. Now the last thing there is for me to do is to actually save it to a file. So I'll click File and Save As. And I'm going to select the plus down here next to Select File Type. Personally, I like to save all of my images to either a GIF image, which if you don't have a lot of photos, if it's not like a uh, high quality resolution photo, GIF is usually the way to go. So in this one I would do GIF. But if I was capturing like an image, I'd actually scroll down and do JPEG image. But in this case, like I said, I'm going to do GIF. So I go ahead and select that. And I'm going to name it, why not, the PC Michiana Tech Help Show. Dot GIF. And I'm going to select Save. And then at this point, it's going to ask me if I want to flatten the image. And I'm going to say yes. And it says convert to index using default settings. Sure. We'll just say export. Now the default folder should be the pictures folder on your computer. Now remember, when I went to export, I could actually change that folder. Let me go back there and show that real quick. Oh, file, save as. 
I can actually change the folder that it's saved to. Right now it's just saved to pictures. And so let me go ahead and go to my pictures folder so we can take a look at it. And that's under my start button under pictures. Now if I scroll down, here it is. The PC Michigan Tech Help Show GIF. I can double click on it and open it up. And there it is. It's in its highest resolution possible. And the nice thing about using this as well is it actually optimizes the image. So if I right click on it and I select properties, you'll actually see that it doesn't take up much space on your computer. Now a lot of the times, a lot of the software programs you'll use to cap capture images will actually be a really high resolution photo. So now you have a nice web optimized image as well. Now that's all there is to this video. That's how you capture, crop, and resize an image. Actually, I didn't show you how to resize it. Did I? If you need to resize it, it's a very easy thing to do. Let me open up the GIMP here real quick just to show you. Let me open my image that I just created. And you just do image, scale image, and then you want to select, say, I don't know, maybe you want the image to be only 200 pixels wide. Now this is important. You press tab after typing in the width and it'll actually automatically adjust the height to make sure they're proportional. And then select down here the scale button. And as you can see, it'll actually scale the image appropriately. Now it's very tiny in my case, so it kind of pixelated it. But that's how you resize an image. Now you know how to scale, resize, and export an image from any program you might have open on your computer, including the internet. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe, and stay tuned. I have plenty more videos to come.